So we'll open up the Eclipse and we'll select any workspace. And what we need to do in order to install the uh, PyDev plugin, uh, we'll go to help, we'll go to install new software. And this is the link that we need to paste over here, pydev.org uh, slash updates. So once you uh, enter this uh, URL and once you press enter, in a couple of seconds, you should be able to see the Py plugin so uh, the other things uh, you need to do you need to make sure that this show only latest version should be unchecked because uh, Eclipse uh, Python plugin works up till the 2.82 update so we're gonna select this one right and we should not worry about uh, uh, this integration uh, at this moment uh, we only need this thing so I'll click on next and in a couple of seconds your uh, eclipse plugin should be integrated uh, we got some errors the operation cannot be completed see the details because a newer version is already installed okay so already installed is a newer version it should ignore it uh, let me see what can be done i should uninstall the previous one i i tried to install the latest one but it didn't work so that is uh what i read in the blocks that it it will eclipse will only gonna store uh the version up till 2.82 so let us restart the eclipse and let us again uh, install this plugin okay so let's wait for the workspace to show up all right and we'll again go to help install new software and give this url over here and now let us select Again, the version that is 2.82. Click on next. And now it should install uh, your PyDev plugin for Eclipse. And you should be uh, good to go uh, with the coding on Eclipse for Python. Right, so again, it will gonna take a couple of minutes to complete the installation. So let it run. it's downloading all the libraries so I'm using the very basic version of Eclipse at the moment that is Eclipse classic you can download any version and this is the way you should be installing the Python plugin uh, to the Eclipse and it should be done so let us restart the eclipse and see whether the python plugin is already there or not so it's being restarted let's select the workspace and let us uh, right click here to see if uh, we get python over here or not yes the pydev is there right so we have the pydev pydev plugin over here and the next thing we should be doing is we'll click this uh, open perspective and we'll select the pydev plugin from here click on ok and this is how your pydev package explorer and uh, the pydev uh, environment should look like so now here you can uh, create a new project and create new python files right so this is how you should be doing it uh, so here you can select the python project click on next give any project name let's say test project or 
give it any name. Let's say I can give this Python project. And before doing this, I'm getting some error project interpreter not specified. So I need to configure the interpreter as well. I'll do it uh, manually. So this is my Python interpreter. So let's uh, click auto config over here. Oh, that's great. And let's select every option over here. Click on OK. Uh, click on apply. We just picked up the Python installation path. Let's just wait. It's taking a bit time. All right, so let's just click on OK and click on Finish. And we are here with the first Python project. Right, so now you can create new file and give it a name as uh, sample.py, the very first file. Right, and click on finish and this is your first Python project. Right, and here you can write the Python code and then when you click on run, so it will execute that code. So let's say if uh, the very first thing in any programming language is to print hello world and we'll save this we'll click on run and it should execute the first hello world statement right so you can see with the help of this uh, pyduff plugin we can uh, very easily work like uh, we used to work with uh, eclipse when we were working on java right so this is uh, even the python programming with eclipse it, it's very simple i mean eclipse is really helpful at times uh, while troubleshooting while debugging stuff right so that's all in this lecture